I'm going to do two things in this video. I'm going to first begin by calculating 511 minus 187 using the left to right subtraction algorithm. And then I'm going to demonstrate the same problem with drawings, demonstrating that left to right subtraction algorithm. So to subtract 187 from 511 using left to right subtraction, I begin by stacking our numbers by place value, ones on top of ones, tens on top of tens, and so on. And we'll work our way from left to right. 5 minus 1 is 4. And that when we can't subtract 1 minus 8, we can't do that. I'll borrow from the difference that we've just found. From the 400s that are left over, I'll take one of them, leaving 300s behind, and take that extra 100 and move it into the tens place, giving me 10 extra tens. I now have 11 tens in total, and I'd like to remove 8 of those tens, and that would leave 3 tens behind. When I work my way into the ones place, I have one one, and I'd like to remove seven ones. And I can't do that, so what I'll do is I'm going to go to the tens place, to the difference that I've just found, the three tens that were left over, and I'm going to remove one of them. I'll borrow one of those tens, leaving two of the tens behind, and that extra ten I'll move into the ones place. I have a 10 and 1. I have now 11 things in the 1's place, and I'd like to remove 7 from it. 11 things removing 7 leaves me with 4 things behind. So my answer then, 324. I'm just going to block that off to the side, and I'm going to do my drawings down below. Before I begin, I'm just going to write a brief little legend to tell you my shapes that I'll be using. I'll be using dots to represent ones. I'll be using the sticks, the lines, to represent tens. And I'll be using squares to represent hundreds. And remember, of course, that the whole point of these drawings is that I'm going to use them to demonstrate left to right subtraction. And that when we're doing our subtracting, that if I decide to, I can replace one of the squares with 10 of the sticks, or I could replace one of the sticks with 10 of the dots, because of course, one of these is worth 10 of those, and one of these is worth 10 of those, and so on. That's exactly what place value does for us. So I'll start with my initial problem, which is five hundreds, or five squares, and I have one ten, and I have one one. So there's the 511 that I have to begin with. And what I'd like to do, I'm just going to slide this up a little bit. What I'd like to do now is to begin with my subtraction. I'd like to first begin with removing the 100 from the 187. And I can do that right away. I'll get rid of you. There we go. And that leaves 400s that are left behind. The next thing that we did in our algorithm, we wanted to subtract eight tens from the one ten that we had. We have one ten, we'd like to take eight of them away, we clearly don't have enough. So this is where we borrowed. We borrowed from the four hundreds that were left over, we took one of those hundreds away, and we've moved it into the tens place. That meant that we had three hundreds that were left behind, and in the tens place we had the one ten that we originally had, and the square, the hundreds, is worth 10 tens. So we now have 10 more sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Of course, we still have the 1, 1 left behind. And the next thing that we needed to do was to remove 8 tens, or we were removing 8 of the sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we'll take all 8 of you away. There we go. And what does that leave behind? It leaves behind, I still have the three hundreds, and I now have three sticks, or three tens left behind, and I've got one one. So we were at this part of the algorithm, where we've borrowed from the four hundreds, leaving three hundreds behind, and we did our subtraction in the tens place, leaving three tens behind, and now we were moving to the ones place with the one one, and we wanted to remove seven of them. We had one dot, we'd like to remove seven of them, that's not so possible, so we'll need to 
to borrow. From the three tens that we had left over, I'm going to take one of them away and move it into the ones place. So I'll have still the three hundreds left over. I'll have now two tens remaining. That was our borrowing and reducing by one. And now when I've moved that ten into the ones place, I'll have the original one that I had and I have the 10 being moved into the ones place, giving me 10 more ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 11 ones now in total. And the last thing that I needed to do was to remove 7 of those ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll remove them. And that leaves me with four ones left behind. So we can see the steps that I carried out in the left to right subtraction algorithm, subtracting in the hundreds place. When I couldn't subtract in the tens place, I needed to regroup, taking from my difference and moving to the tens place. Then I was able to subtract in the tens place. I wanted to subtract in the ones place, couldn't do that, so I regrouped from the tens place into the ones place. Then I could do the subtraction, and then I have my final answer. The amounts left over, three hundreds, two tens, and four ones, or 324, which of course that's the same as the answer that we got from the left to right subtraction algorithm.